guys, it's Viking Fun back for another video. Happy New Year. I'm starting. This is the first regular video of this year. So, yeah, the first topic of this year is I found this and found this article on Facebook. Elon Musk and NASA will try to bring this giant gold asteroid to Earth. That sounds pretty interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, wouldn't that be awesome? Indeed. Okay. This is actually one of the greatest flaws that are never really addressed in most science fiction movies and show out there. The only reason as to why we attribute value to certain items and materials is because we don't have an abundance of them. So unlocking space travel would literally change everything including our economy and what we see as valuable and whatnot. Okay. Truthfully, this would be pretty cool that we just Elon see Elon Musk and Na NASA get their hands on this, bring it to Earth. They definitely would restock us on gold and platinum and tin. Pretty sure we still have a ton of tin, but platinum and gold we definitely need. Exploring this metal asteroid known as 16 fists. Fis I can't even, sometimes I can't say these scientific words, so I'm not even going to try. It was commissioned by NASA and SpaceX as for the first time. Elon Musk <clears throat> has decided to join hands with NASA, NASA so as to make sure that this mission will come to a proper conclusion. Conclusion. Man, that's a mouthful. That's good. Indeed. The mission will begin at Cape Con will begin at Cape Convert. I don't even know what that means. Let me know in the comments how you actually say that. In the summer of twenty twenty two. And as you can already tell their goal is not to mine the asteroid, but explore it. Really? Isn't that the point? Yeah, I know. Okay, studying it would be cool, but we should mine it. I actually thought they were going to mine this. Well, don't I feel stupid? <laughs> yeah, just, just a little dumb. I think that's kind of pointless. Maybe they're going to research it first, and then they're going to mine it. Explore it and research it. It's composition since it's it is made primarily out of platinum, iron, and nickel. Cause see, but there's also gold in there too. I apparently forgot to add it to there. Literally worth a hundred times more than our current world's economy, which is around fifty nine point five trillion dollars. That's a lot of money. Are there trillionaires yet? Let me know in the comments. I don't think there are. I know there's multi-billionaires. I'm sure we'll get a first trillionaire in this decade, if not in the 2030s. Golden Asteroid. Fez C-16 contains metals worth 8 million quadrillion. So quadrillion is now a number. Holy bananas. That's like expensive. That's an eight followed by eighteen zeros. <laughs> eighteen zeros. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Lies between orbits of Mars and Jupiter. We could definitely get there. For sure. Made of gold, platinum, iron, and nickel. Formed by violent collisions between planets. Obviously, this is the only way that could have happened. Like, planets probably exploding and colliding with each other. Yeah. NASA space. Hmm. This, miss, this mission is set to launch in the summer of 2022. And if all well, that ends well. We won't accidentally destroy our planet's economy as we know it in the process. So they think that that asteroid will destroy their economy. 
it would give us more resources. They can get over it. They can always build a new economy. They always do. Let me, let me know in the comments if there's flaws with that. I truly think we should, yes, research it and then mine its resources. Obviously, we're going to mine its resources. Maybe not right now, but we will. That was pretty interesting. I have to admit, going to space is probably a great idea. One day, space mining will become a very common thing. But, like, first checking it out and researching it, and then obviously they're going to mine it at some point. Obviously they will, if they don't, my nephew will. <laughs> yeah, my nephew will just build a spaceship and go up there and mine it all, if they don't, so. Remember that, Elon, my nephew is pretty smart, and I'm pretty sure there's other people who may have came across his article and be like, yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna mine it all if you don't do it. Ha, huh, huh. ha, yeah. Let me know in the comments if you would try and... Take the entire asteroid for yourself. Truthfully, I wouldn't. I would just sell it to the government or work, but not for trillions of dollars. So I'd be kind of reasonable. Or I'd just give it to them for free. As long as as long as long I don't have to pay any more taxes. <laughs> yeah, just, just become tax-free person. That seems like a pretty fair deal, doesn't it? Let me know. So if you somehow get to the asteroid and bring it to Earth, negotiate with the government of the world, so... Then you don't have to pay any more taxes. I'd say that's a pretty good deal. Instead of making them cough up millions or billions of dollars. See? That's a solution. Let me know in the comments if that would work. I really don't know. This is definitely an interesting idea. I think it would definitely work. Yes, it'll be good ex like to research it first, but we need to mine it at some point. Maybe we don't have the equipment to mine it yet, but I'd say within the next decade or so, we'll probably be ready for galactic mining. Yeah, so like, the, yeah, the world resources need to be replenished, so we need to go mine some resources in space. Yes, that's the solution. Yeah. This is definitely an interesting video. Let me know if you thought this was interesting, and if I should cover other science videos. I think I'll probably try and find one or two more to talk about this month or in February. And then I'll go back to doing whatever else. I, I still have some shorts coming up. I will probably be filming two YouTube shorts right after this. And upload them, but make them private. Make one public tomorrow, and then the one day after that. That's how I kind of cycle my system. Let me know in the comments if that's an efficient system. I'm not sure if it is. So please help me get to 150 subscribers or more. One day I hope to become a successful YouTuber. So if you if you smash the, that subscribe button, I'll really appreciate it. And leave some Q&A questions down in the comments as well. Because I want to do a Q&A video or a live stream. Let me know which, which should I do, a video or a live stream. Let me know in the comments. Alright guys, have a great day. Or night. Viking Fun out.